Well, hey everyone. So here I am. It's the first day of 2024 and somebody talked me into doing a kind of past year end recap of my favorite bottle finds. And I'm only, I have so many, I couldn't even, it would take me like two hours to go through this stuff. But I picked out the best of the best, in my opinion, um, and some of my little favorite relic finds, too, from the dumps. So here we go. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, here we go. I don't know if you can hear my dog. He's kind of snoring right now. So hopefully that doesn't, uh, you know detract from the bottles here i know he's kind of cute so oh yeah and the mr t this is an inch or well, vintage um tablecloth cover that i got i got like six of these brand new in the packages still from an antique mall a few years ago they were like a buck 50 a piece no joke and but these things are huge they could cover like a gigantic conference room table I had to fold this thing in half, but yeah, <laughs> I set it up for my son's birthday. So anyway, here we go. Number one, the Review Dairy. It's from St. Charles, Illinois. Nice embossed and it's in really good shape. There's that scratch right there. I think that came from my rake. I have, I think, oh. I thought I had a quart of this, but anyway, here's a little half pint that I found. And these, well, this bottle, I believe for sure started off the year. It was last January, 2023. So here's the mini size of that. Next we go to, I'm trying to do this quick. <laughs> the CK Madsen Dairy from St. Charles, Illinois. This one, note the neck here. Found both of these pretty much one right after another. And this one has actually the slug plated sealed marking. I did show all of these in a recap video about a year ago. It's good stuff. Love them. Beautiful. Just awesome bottles. Um, hmm. All right. This came, this is a prize to me because Jason and I were digging for like, oh my gosh. And we walked the rivers for, we were out for about a good eight hours this day, this past summer. I think it was in June and it was hot out. We were frustrated. Really? Weren't, well, we weren't really finding a whole lot. And he's in one hole away from me and I'm in mine and we're both kind of like talking to ourselves, you know, <laughs> like, you know how it is kind of swearing out loud and being like, seriously, no way. And I don't know. It just went on and on for like an hour. And then I thought my car was being towed in the process of this whole thing. It's a long story. I heard beeping like a tow truck was backing up and I'm like, I told him, go check, make sure they're not towing my car. And he like ran up the road and here it was an Amazon truck backing up. Oh my God. It was a really long day. So anyway, I found this at the very last minute and it was like, hallelujah. Amen. We are done. And it's a cool one because I've never found one of these kind of fluted milk bottles before. <sighs> I love it. LV Pike. Okay. Moving on. The Carlson's Dairy from Geneva, Illinois. Another one of my favorites. I pulled this out of the river. You can see this right here. Awesome bottle. Very cool. And it cleaned up beautifully for being pulled out of the river. This I found in a dump and I initially only, it was so dirty. I'd had no idea it was slug plated or even embossed. Um, I kept it because of the style of the 
lip here. I just thought it might have been a pretty old school mason sort of jar. Um, got back, cleaned it up. Oh my, <laughs> the Sam Lerner and Sons Jerry. And there's your street address from Chicago. Very cool. I think this might have been a cottage cheese jar. Um, lastly, as far as the milk school tool, and I actually only recall finding one of these, which is like crazy. It's been such a crazy year though. Um, these are Bowman Dairy Company from Chicago. I'm, I'm guessing these are cream jars. I have two. This one's actually in better condition, so to speak, as far as the clarity of the glass. So cool old relics. All right, moving on here. All right, here are some beers and pops, my favorites of the last year, 2023. <laughs> Adolph Westfall, Bottling Company, River Forest, Illinois. That like wanted to be a hutch in the worst way. Ah, but it's not. So it doesn't matter. It's still super cool to me. Yeah, it's machine made. I guess 1915 or so. Same with pretty much the rest of the stuff except for that one. But anyway, yeah, these three all found within the same day right here. Within all, within one hour. This was my first H.E. Lloyd. And this is super heavy too. Like, oh, it's, I want to see a little bit newer in age date wise from uh this one right here maybe 1920 or so so yeah beautiful bottle and then i pulled this beast out and i did catch this on video it's an amber court beer from the h eloy company of aurora illinois and that is it it is awesome that's this is like one of my truly one of my biggest prizes I guess that I've ever found now that I've learned the significance of what it is <laughs> let's leave it at that um here's an Aurora bottling company bottle slug plated I think that's a tooled crown top right there looks to be to me um there is nothing else on this whatsoever, so I'm guessing there would have been a big fancy label on the front. The same day I found these three, I found one of these, and it was perfect, and I actually sold it. <laughs> um, beautiful bottle. Awesome bottle, actually. It's the Jupiter Spring Deep Rock Pure Mineral Water, owned by Chicago and Geneva Bottling Works. Super cool. And then there's the back. Ah, oh, my phone is just going nuts here. So, yeah, I found one and a half of these <laughs> that day. The second one I found it was like busted off right about there. And I was like, no, but, and it was too far gone to make a drinking glass or anything like that out of it. And then I guess this is my favorite, like pop in ACL. And I just recently found this a couple weeks ago. Um, it's a double dot Pepsi Cola. And the script is on the back and it's awesome. I showed this in my last bottle video um, from Des Moines, Iowa. That's there's a flaw there, obviously, but I don't really care. It's cool. I could do a little bit more cleaning on the inside there, but eh, I like it the way it is. So, OK, last up is the few fun relics and my very favorite thing of the year. 
Here are the marbles, my favorites, of this past year that I personally found. Right there. I'm going to use my pen as a pointer. <laughs> that is a Peltier National Line Rainbow Spider-Man Marble. I pulled that out of a dump. And the Big Daddy Shooter right there. That's an Acro Agate, or rather Acro Company Marble. Um, we're kind of not sure if it's a hero or possibly a tongue patch version of their marbles. And there's some other cool ones I found. So there's a lot more, but they're uh, not as awesome as these. So there's the marbles. Last up are my favorite little relic and fun finds. This is the one from earlier this summer. It's a Cracker Jack toy. Kerchoo! Little toy train. Super cute. And uh, a plane. I'm assuming this is a Cracker Jack toy as well. The bottom. Erwin. Made in USA. Super cool. This, I didn't know what it was, and Jason, because he's a big time metal detector, informed me that, and forgive me, I'm probably not describing this well, but it has to do with the uh, uh, the firing mechanism for a spark plug, so to speak, on a Model T Ford. And from what I've learned, this is why they called it the Model T, because of this right here. It was dangling from roots in the dump pit I was in. And it was annoying me, and I pulled at it, and he's like, you know what that is? And he told me, and I'm like, what? That is super cool. Um, this, I salvaged. This is Bakelite, and it's a bracelet, and it's awesome. If you can see the detail on it here. Um, it was disgusting, covered with dirt and whatnot and I just it I threw it in my bag because <clears throat> I just I don't know the shape of it you know I'm like that's got to be something different because I don't know I keep weird shapes so always look for that when you're out there digging and whatever you never know what it's gonna be you be something awesome like this so Jason's Buddha <laughs> He pulled out of the river and I had it. It's bronze. Okay. It's, oh my gosh. That was always there, that little hole. But otherwise this thing is superb, but it's my fault because I left it outside in CLR in the sun this past summer in a bucket and it like got crazy oxidized. So I really have to do some research and figure out how to clean this thing up and keep it so it doesn't turn freaking neon green again. That's just, oh my gosh. <laughs> but I love the Buddha. I fell when I was holding this thing because he's like, I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> so I was hanging on to it. So I was like, I'm going to keep that. And I fell in the rocks and I totally trashed my legs, my knees. Oh my gosh. I probably should have gone to like urgent care or something, but, uh, you know, I'm not that kind of girl. I don't just run to the doctors for any little thing. I have, I have enough supplies in the back of my vehicle that I have like a freaking OR in the back of my vehicle as far as surgical supplies. So, all right. Lastly, my favorite find of the year right here. It's a Zeppelin candy container. And I actually, upon researching this thing, I learned a lot about U.S. naval history. It was the USS Los Angeles, and it was actually developed by the Zeppelin country, or company in Germany, and they flew it 
from Germany in 1923 to New Jersey and delivered it to a base there for the United States. And it was kind of an experimental type aircraft, which back then, I mean, they were using it to like refuel planes in midair. It, it was crazy. You can look this up online. The USS Los Angeles Zeppelin airship. And somebody made it into an awesome candy container. And when I found this in the dump, it was like, I pulled it out like this and it was obviously covered with dirt, but I could tell it was shaped. And I, I thought maybe it was this like a fancy screw on top for a booze bottle or something. And I think Jason's the one that he like, he goes, Hey, you know what? That might be something different. And I could not believe it. Originally, it came with like a really cool little shaped cone screw on cap there, you know, so it totally looked like a Zeppelin, but this is my prize. I cannot ever imagine finding a candy container this cool. <laughs> like, there's no way. That's the best ever to me, so. All right, well, I have to go to bed. I hope I didn't bore everybody, <laughs> all you guys. So I guess Duke and I are saying good night, happy new year, and we will see you soon.